It's 48 past six. I need to acknowledge something. I was wrong. Yes, the video I made yesterday about the daddy long legs not moving, I got that wrong. It has moved because it moved last night and today it's the complete opposite of the angle that it was on yesterday. Check this out. So there he is. He, I'll go in two times. So he was facing he was facing the other way yesterday. So, there you go. I got that wrong. And now the reason, so the reason I'm doing this on the iPhone is for the two times reach to zoom into there. And also just to show you my final setup for CreatorCast recording sessions. As you know, I've been trying to work out, you know, the best audio position, the best audio tech, uh, and gear and everything and I believe we finally got this kind of sorted and we just did a session with Chris Air Walker which will be coming up on, on the program in about two and a half weeks and I've got it set up there right now ready to go for the next session we're going to do with the boys for a midweek recording but I thought while it's set up I'll crank the light and I'll show you what I've got going so this is my main light source here now this is the GH5 with the extra, um, what am I trying to say? The constant power source plugged in. And by the way, look at my tripod situation here. <laughs> Got a little stool with some books that I no longer look at and some DVDs and that just rests, that kind of rests on there perfectly. If you look at the, uh, the height, it's pretty much almost identical to where the FaceTime camera would be. So that's why I've got that going there. And here is the, uh, HDMI cable that runs straight out into the mage well this guy the HDMI capture USB right there and that pumps into USB on the back of the iMac right about down there somewhere well I've actually unplugged it it's this guy here now the other thing that I've got going is the audio and I've sorted that out so we had a lot of issues with recording the audio mainly because of the way a Mac works with audio. It doesn't like a secondary interface. And I told you I fixed that using Loopback, which is a program from Amoeba. Amoeba, something, Amoeba. Let me just find it on the old internet machine while we talk. It was an expensive program, don't get me wrong. It was a hundred bucks for a bit of software that basically um, patches, how do you spell Amoeba? I can't see it. Amoeba? It should come up. Rogue um, Rogue Amoeba, that's the software. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks and all it does is it allows you to patch audio from an external device. In my case, the um, TAC2, Zoom TAC2 from Universal. It's a Thunderbolt connection. So this guy pumps from the Thunderbolt straight into the computer. But then the issue with the iMac and the issue with Macs in general is that you can't have so you can have an external audio source come in, but then if you want to do what we do, and that's record that source and also record a secondary source coming into the machine, you need an aggregate audio device and you can set that up very easily on the Mac. For some reason, I couldn't get it working with this Zoom Tac 2 and the loopback software completely fixed it. And then ironically today, I messed it up. My, it was a user error once you've once you've used it once, and if you pull the Thunderbolt plug out, which I did earlier today, when, when you plug it back in, 